Hi, it's Cedric here, and this is Leanne, one of our nurses who you've probably met before. This is Leanne's cat, Baxter. Baxter's a lovely cat. Leanne looks after him very, very, very well. He had blood tests back when? September, October? October last year. Um, we did blood test him on, on him twice a year. And Leanne brought him in for, because the last week or so he hasn't been eating as, as well as uh, she would like, and she thought maybe it was a dental issue, and so she asked me to have a look at his teeth. And had a look at his teeth, and they're all normal. So that means we've got to go hunting somewhere else. So the first thing um, we did is take some blood. You can see he's got a bit of a shaved neck. Let me show you the results over here. So remember, the results less than, or just on six months ago were normal. And we're looking at the red cell count and the white cell count. That's all okay. These things, these little red areas here are nothing too much to worry about. That's all okay. So now we get to um, liver, kidneys, um, and whatnot. And the first thing that jumps out is this blood sugar. 23.87, normal is 3.95 to 8.84. And so in the last six months, Baxter's, Baxter's become a diabetic um, perfectly normal results uh, 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 six months ago and now a diabetic. And just to prove that or to add more fuel to the fire, if you want to put it that way, the ALT, the ALP and the GGT are all, um, whoops, are all liver functions and you can see the ALT is elevated, the GGT is elevated and this last one here is cholesterol is elevated as well. So that just ties in uh, with the fact that he's got um, diabetes. Now, as part of his examination today, I also examined, uh, listened to his heart and lungs with a stethoscope, and he's got a heart murmur. And typically heart murmurs in cats mean that the cat, so in dogs, heart murmurs typically mean valve disease, especially in older, what is he, 11? 15, 15, okay. Um, he's an incredibly good, healthy cat for 15. So in dogs, of this age, heart murmurs are typically caused by valve disease. In cats, it's either HCM or DCM. HCM, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or DCM, dilated cardiomyopathy. Now, if you remember, the first ever heart transplant uh, formed in, uh, done in Australia was, um, I think it's the late 60s or early 70s, was on a lady called Fiona Coote, and she had cardio, cardiomyopathy, DCM dilated cardiomyopathy. In DCM, the wall in the heart uh, becomes really thin and, and like a worn out gum boot. And in HCM, the wall gets really, really, really thick and doesn't function either. So now we're going to investigate as to why that's happened. So we'll see you shortly. All right, here we are with Baxter again. And we ran a test a couple of minutes ago um, called a feline pro BNP test. So this shows heart muscle damage. The same if you've had a heart attack and you go into a, a cardiac ward, they'll run tests on you to see whether your heart muscle is damaged. And this is the same test for cats. So we can do that in-house and get the results in, in half an hour. So this shows that he's got um, heart muscle damage. As I said earlier, uh, in cats, it'll typically be some form of cardiomyopathy. There is a third form of cardiomyopathy which I left out. So you have the HCM, the hypertrophic, you have the DCM, the dilated, and then you have what's called an intermediate grade cardiomyopathy, which is not nearly as common as the other two. So this is our ultrasound machine, and you can see that he's got a little bit of a shaved area on the right hand side of his chest wall. And we've just done an ultrasound on him. And he is the, the rarer, he has the rarer of the three diseases. So he has intermediate grade cardiomyopathy. So this is where the heart muscle is a little bit thicker than it should be, but it's lost all its strength. In DCM, uh, dilated cardiomyopathy, the, walk, the, the heart becomes like a worn out Agiel gum boot. In uh, HCM, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the wall gets really, really thick. It's like a muscle weightlifter who's got more muscle than anything else. And in the intermediate grade, it's a, it's a mixture of the two. So he will go on medication. Um, typically, guys like this will have a bit of fluid on the lungs, um, uh, what we call pulmonary edema. Uh, so we will give him uh, uh, Lasix or Fruitix, whatever you want to call it, to get the fluid off his lungs. 
and um, will give him a drug to make his heart slow down but become stronger and more efficient. So the reason he's not eating um, is because he feels just worn out because of the heart problem. The sugar in his, the high sugar in his bloodstream, the high blood glucose, we're just going to check that again to make sure it's not spurious. Leanne's going to get a couple of urine samples at home over the next couple of days and see if he's got sugar in his urine. Uh, if he does, then um, that's another uh, player in the game of, of what's going on with him and he will go on insulin just like you would or I would. There is an alternative in cats. We can put these guys on a food um, uh, which uh, fixes diabetes in, in cats. It's not 100% effective, but it's darn, darn, darn good. And quite a few cats that are on this um, food for diabetes will actually be able to come off insulin in injection. So that's all a conversation for the future. We'll keep you up to date with how Baxter's going, but in the short term, check some urine samples to make sure that he is a diabetic and that these results aren't spurious and two heart medications and he'll be a lot happier in a couple of days time. See you later.